Hello loves, welcome back to my channel. I'm Holiana, and today we're starting my 2022 temperature blanket. Let's do it! If you don't know what a temperature blanket is, basically they're these super cool blankets where every single day when you crochet or knit the row, you're gonna change the color of yarn you're using to match the average temperature for that day. You can do a single crochet blanket, double crochet, corner to corner, granny square, really any kind of blanket that you'd like. Today is January 16th of 2022, so I am a little bit late starting my temperature blanket, but that's okay, we're gonna catch up. I am notoriously bad at finishing projects. This was supposed to be a blanket. I think this was gonna be a Baby Yoda. So a lot of people say if you're bad at finishing projects, do not take on a temperature blanket because this is a big project. This is a year long project. I personally think doing a project like this where I'm only crocheting seven rows a week is going to be a lot easier for me to tackle. So my plan is to do just that. I wanna sit down once every week or two, crochet between seven and 14 rows, and then update you on the progress. In today's video, I'm gonna be walking you through everything you need to do before you even start crocheting your temperature blanket. And I'm also gonna catch up and do the first 15 rows of the year. Let's get started. Step one is buying your yarn. I ended up going with Red Heart Super Saver. I bought this on Yarnspiration's website, but you can also get it on Amazon or at your local craft store. When buying your yarn, you're gonna to need to pick out between eight to 12 colors. I ended up going with 10. When you're picking out your colors, remember that every color is going to represent a pocket of temperatures. So for example, from 80 degrees Fahrenheit to 89 degrees Fahrenheit, this beautiful color of coral, I believe it's called, is going to be what we use. But if we had a day that was, let's say, in the 20s, we would be using this color. Once you buy your yarn, it's great to make yourself a chart. I have a digital version of this too, but I saw so many artists making a physical chart and I really like how tangible this is. I like that I can keep it at my workstation and be able to reference this as I'm crocheting my blanket. I also have written out what each color is that I'm using, not just having the little, the little sample. The next step for me was creating this chart. I've heard a lot of artists say that it's really important to write down every single day of the year what the day is, what the temperature is, what color coordinates with that temperature, and if you finish the row or not. And if you guys want to follow along with my Google Doc sheet to see what temperature it is every day in Nashville, what color it is, and if I'm done with that row, I am going to link the Google Doc sheet below. One problem that I ran into when starting this project was the fact that I'm starting two weeks into the year and I did not write down the average temperature for every day of the year. And I knew there had to be a website out there that would easily allow me to check the average temperature for every day of the year, and I found it. So that is also linked below, and it is super helpful. You can just put in whatever city you are in, and you can check the high, the low, the average, because I know some people base their temperature blanket on the high for the day or the low for the day. I'm personally just gonna do the average. Last but not least, let's talk about crochet hooks. I bought so many crochet hooks over the years, I always end up losing them, and recently I found this little pack on Amazon. I will link this below. They have my favorite grips. I like how they feel. They were pretty cheap and they come with a bunch of different sizes, like, like all the sizes. They also come with markers, scissors, and yarn needles. For my yarn, it says we need to use a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. So that's what we're gonna be using. Before we start the actual crocheting part of the video, I need to preface this. I am not a professional crocheter, crafter, yarn artist, anything like that. I'm just a content creator who happens to like to crochet. My grandma taught me how to crochet when I was nine years old. I crocheted for a couple years and then honestly, I kind of forgot about it until I was in my twenties. And now I have fallen in love with crocheting again. I am still not good by any means. Let me show you, let me show you a couple things I've done. Please don't leave my video when you see these. This is Scare Bear, self-explanatory. No pattern, sometimes I just make things and see what happens. I make these little googly-eyed monsters that I call cuddly creepers. I made this baby Yoda that's also terrifying. And just a couple days ago, I finished this corner to corner blanket. It's the first time I made myself a blanket, so I'm really proud of it. Okay, I hope you're still here. I just wanted to show you my goofy little creations because I think so many people and so many crafters don't take on projects because they feel like you have to be at a professional level before you even do a project. So this is me one non-professional crafter to another saying, if you want to make a temperature blanket this year, just do it. If you only know how to do a single crochet or a double crochet or whatever it is that you know how to do and you really want to do a project like this, just do it. That being said, let's crochet. I just realized I have no idea how wide to make my blanket. You know what? We're going to wing it. Okay. January 1st, 
in Nashville, Tennessee, which is where I live. Make sure if you do one of these, do it where you live or do it where you want to live. If you want to like manifest that, pick a city that you love and take that average temperature every day. Okay, Nashville, Tennessee, January 1st, the average temperature was 65 degrees Fahrenheit. And that color is light sage. Question for all of my crochet friends in the comment section. Do you pull your yarn from here or around the outside? I pull it from around the outside. I have had too many balls of yarn where I pull it from here because I prefer pulling it from here until I get to the point where I hit the knot. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? So many balls of yarn will randomly have a knot in the center and it drives me crazy. So we are going to use the outside. Start with your slip stitch. Everyone makes them differently. This is how I make mine. Crochet hook through the loop and pull it tight, but not super tight. I personally wrap my fingers by going around my pinky, under my middle two fingers, and over my pointer, and then I kind of just can hold it like that. Once again, I am not a professional by any means. There are amazing tutorials from incredible crochet artists here on YouTube. So if you are a very, very, very beginner and just learning how to crochet, I highly recommend checking out some of those. It's currently 9.15 and I'm giving myself until 11 p.m. to crochet tonight. So let's see how much we get done. Here we go. So like I said, we're kind of winging it when it comes to how wide the blanket's gonna be. I have this blanket here that I started and I never finished. And I know that I measured the width of this with a queen bed. So we're gonna make this the width of a queen bed. A little, a little bit longer, perfect. I hope this is a good length. I honestly don't know. I mean, I guess we'll find out in December. Time to flip the project. I'm gonna finish these stitches, finish the single crochet. Then we're gonna switch colors for the temperature of January 2nd. Now that I'm doing this, I'm starting to question if I was supposed to go ahead and switch colors. But I think I'm doing it right. If I'm doing it wrong, I was gonna say tell me in the comments, but maybe don't tell me in the comments because by the time I publish this video, I'm gonna have like the first 15 days of the year done. <laughs> We're coming up to the end. It's almost time to switch colors for January 2nd. We're officially ready to change colors. Let's check the chart and see what the next color should be. On January 2nd, 2022, the temperature was 42 degrees Fahrenheit. 42 degrees is the color Jade. We have our color Jade. Let's switch the colors. I'm going to attempt to crochet in these ends as we go. I don't know how this is gonna go. If I'm being super honest with you guys, I've never actually done like a single crochet where we switch colors. But I think if I just keep doing the stitches on top of these two ends, they're going to be covered up really nicely. Hey, there we go. And starting January 2nd, it is 10, 15 p.m. So the, the first little step took me an hour. This is gonna take a lot longer than I thought. I'm obsessed with how these colors are already looking together. We are almost to the end of another row. Now every row is going to get slightly easier because I really struggle holding on to my crochet projects whenever I'm starting out, but the bigger the blanket gets, the faster it's gonna go. And if I'm being totally honest, this is going slower than it would normally go because I'm also on TikTok Live right now answering questions and talking to people and reading comments. All right, we just finished the row for January 2nd. Time to look up the average temperature for January 3rd, which just so happens to be my birthday. On January 3rd, it was 31 degrees Fahrenheit. And that color is Aruba Sea. This is Aruba Sea, super, super beautiful color. All right, it's 11 o'clock. I promised myself I would stop at 11 o'clock on the dot. We got this far into January the 3rd, not very far, but it is a really, really, really wide blanket the size of a queen size bed. I think this was a successful first day of starting my 2022 temperature blanket. If you wanna follow the journey of my temperature blanket, I will be posting updates once every week or two, so subscribe to follow the journey. Today is January 18th and I am completely caught up in our temperature blanket. 
this is a queen size bed. I'm gonna roll this across the bed and see how wide the blanket is actually going to be. Uh-oh. I think I made it way too wide. <laughs> 